what's good you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you're a new subscriber you have made the best decision of your life so today's video as you can tell by the title is a winter foundation routine and i will be taking you guys step by step how i create this flawless foundation routine and that is also win winter friendly so without further ado let's get straight into the video um girl mm. <laughs> Before we get straight into the tutorial part of this video there is something that i want to explain and clarify before i you know talk about what exactly i'll be doing so um it is important to know that all the products i'm going to be using today are really good products because i've tried them quite a few times and i'm really satisfied with how they work for my skin and basically the look on its own but it is important to find things that work for you and your skin type and also find out what your skin type is i think i've said this so many times on my channel before that you need to take care of your skin in order for your makeup to be proper and for your base to be flawless i mean there's no such thing as flawless but for it to be blended properly and things that i use have been in my makeup kit for oh, two to three years at least and i've always been satisfied obviously there are new things that i've been picking out there and there especially this winter because it's extremely cold but um yeah so i also just want to say um if you guys don't take care of your skin your makeup isn't going to look as great because your makeup is not going to hide what's under your yeah it's not going to hide what's under basically it's just going to cover not hide so yeah and i personally feel like skincare routines are extremely important if you are a makeup enthusiast and you need to find a skincare routine that works for you i th i still am researching a whole lot about my skincare routine and what really works for me but i think i'm getting the hang of my base to be really neat and blended properly i have to unclog my pores and the only way i can do so for now and what works for me is this mask it is the clearing peel off clay mask from freeman and it has sweet tea and lemon it's said to instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin so this is what it looks like i absolutely love this product i think it works really well um i just forgot how much it is because I bought it quite a while ago, but I think it's about 120 rands if I'm not mistaken. I will link the price if I find it on the Diskim website. So I did buy it from Diskim. And yeah, so now we can get into the actual makeup and the products that I've So been since you guys know it is winter season in Jo oh, not Jovic, actually South Africa. <laughs> and it is extremely cold, but I've found a way to suit my makeup for this cold and dry season and everything here is mostly hydrating as compared to summer you want things to be a little bit more matte because you will be sweating so the first product i use is the prime for wet and wild prime focus hydrating base serum So I basically take this and I prime my skin on some in in summer in summer I would usually use a more mattifying primer but because like I said it's winter and you want your skin to be hydrated in the drier seasons I use this so it really works well Now 
now I'm going to go into my foundation and I do mix the foundations. Um, I mix two foundations because the foundation that I have, which I usually use for summer, is a is a shade darker than my actual shade. This is because in summer I am more sunburnt than I am in winter. In winter I kind of get a little bit lighter, especially around my cheeks, this part, and on my forehead. I have natural dark circles around my eyes, so I'm always the same shade around there. So the foundation I'll be using is the Revlon Color Stay combination to oily foundation and it is in the shade 118. And the foundation that I mix it with is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and it is in Espresso. This is what it looks like. You guys have already seen this foundation on my channel before because I use it quite a lot. It's just, it's very mattifying for winter. In winter you want things that are hydrating and yeah so these foundations i mix a bit of this and a lot more of this because i like the coverage of this and it's not too matte and then this one i just put a little bit and before i do all of that i go in with a skin illuminator from la girl it is the luminous glow and i focus it all Find the highest points of my face which is here and then I just go in with a flat brush to spread all of that out and I don't blend it out completely so I just dropped a few drops on my face and unfortunately the foundation did spill on my sweater I don't know if you guys can see that but it's okay and now I'm just going to be blending all of this and making sure that you can't see the illuminator under the foundation Alright, so after you have blended your foundation, as you guys can see, it is very dewy and it is not too matte. It is, I'm very satisfied with it. I like how it looks. It may not match my neck perfectly, but I've realized that most of my foundations actually don't match my neck at all. And they match my face a lot more better than they do with my neck. And honestly, at first it used to bother me a lot, but I was like, you know what, it is what it is. And I've seen with a whole lot of people that I follow on Instagram as well, their foundations don't match their neck all the time. So I think it's also because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation in my neck and it's usually normal in a lot of black women. So you know what? I ain't mad at it anymore. So yeah, now I'm going to be highlighting my face and contouring so this is still part of the foundation routine because it's all about base today we yeah, are about that base but the base so yeah and then i'm going to be going in with my um concealer and it is from wet and wild it is the photo focus concealer this is what it looks like So 
so this concealer is full coverage i love it it is not too runny but it's not way too thick so it is really proper for highlighting it is it's not better than the la girl pro conceal this one but i think i use this if i want a minimal highlight and i use this if i want a bright highlight so i sometimes mix them if i feel like it so yeah just gonna go in with this and i'm using this new tiktok well it's not new anymore honestly but yeah i'm using this technique i like how it works because it kind of does lift your face so yeah so i only use that for my under eyes and the rest of my face i will be using the la go pro conceal the one that i was showing you guys now and it also does have an applicator I'll be blending all of this with a brush and then I go in with my beauty blender afterwards and I just let my under eyes dry a little bit so I will be starting with the rest of my face first As I'm letting all of that dry, I'm going to be going in with my concealer, um, but I use this to contour. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Mahogany. Oh, I didn't tell you the shade of this one. So the other LA Girl Pro Conceal is in the shade Fawn, and then this one is in the shade Mahogany. And what I used to highlight my under eyes is in the shade eight double four b medium or also called deep tan okay so i'm just gonna go in with the contour and i go in with a little bit because this contour or this shade is a lot darker than me a bit too dark but because i like I like cream contour in winter because it doesn't really like make you look all cakey and your hands can blend very well with this so I don't powder contour in winter or not in this tutorial rather so yeah And then I'm just going to blend all of that out and after blending my contour, I'll be blending my under eyes and setting.
all right so once i've blended all of that which took quite a bit of time but the key in your base looking snatched is blending honestly you have to blend everything out properly thoroughly because you don't want your streaky lines to show you don't want anything to stand out so i'm going to be setting now and the setting powder i use for my under eyes and basically everywhere i highlighted is the essence my skin perfect to lose fixing powder it gives an instant blur effect and a natural matte finish and it is in the shade 20 nude And then, okay, I need to reach for there. And then, what I use to set my contour is the Smudge Sculpt and Contour Palette, and this is what it looks like. So I will be using these products to set where I contoured and where I highlighted, and. I am not baking I am not baking I'm just setting everything so I'm just going to blend out these lines under my eyes before I set and I use a smaller brush to set right in my eyes so that nothing creases So now that I'm done setting everything, I am going to do my brows off camera and I'll be back to wrap everything up and to just finish off my look which is blush, highlights and yeah.
that's about it so i'll be back after doing my all right so i just got done oh let me change this a bit okay all right so i just got done with um doing my brows i just did a minimal brow and a bit of a fluffy situation and i'm really liking it it's so nice and simple not too you know anyway so i'm just going to be going in with blush and i use the ultimate face palette from beauty treats and i use these two shades here so i just mix both of them and i concentrate it on my cheeks And I also blend it in with my contour. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using the Glow Kit using this shade right here I'm just highlighting so now that I'm done with my highlighting actually I'm done with everything and I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss, but now I'm just gonna be setting my face with the Essence Instant Matte Makeup Spray. But I did add a little bit of rose water and almond oil from Dischem. I did add this so that it can be more hydrating. So yeah, I'm just gonna be, oh, these things are falling. Let me just set my face and put on some mascara and I'll be done. What face? What face, honey? I don't think people understand how happy makeup makes me. <laughs> uh, do you understand? Simply and simply. Simply. Wait. So, guys, this is the final look that I have. Created. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.